I do far too many things for my own good. It's all way too much to fit into a short and concise byline. So in the last few years, I've just pushed all those other terms to the side and I've embraced two, artivist and educator. So I consider myself to be one in that hopefully never ending line of people who see that social justice and arts are always at a point of intersection. Well, when I was asked to put together a workshop that would be suited towards Echo Women's Choir, which has a decidedly older white demographic, and TC3, which is this Afrocentric choir for youth, at first blush, I thought, this is gonna be challenging to find something that uh, stimulates and engages without being overly simplistic. I'm a big fan of not only simple melodies, but rounds, rounds and canons, where we take a piece of musical material, be it simple or be it complex, and then we restate that material in overlapping format, two, three, possibly even four times to create the net effect of harmony. Have, being a lover of canons, I knew that singing rounds in this particular case would work regardless of who the participants were. So it creates not only um, a meeting ground for these people, but equalizes the, the playing field, if you will. So they were all working towards the same goal in a graduated form. There are certain universal aspects to what we do as singers. We all share more or less the same physiology. We all have to use our bodies in a very specific way in order to engage in the process of singing. And those skills have to be cultivated regardless of age or stature or demographic for that matter. So for me, it always starts with the body. It always starts with grounding. It always starts with breath work and learning how to fully capture and engage the body to apply it to the purpose of singing. Culturally, here in North America, we've stigmatized singing. So singing is something that is only done by certain people who have been given specific gifts. In my view, nothing could be further from the truth. I fully embrace this idea that if you breathe, you sing. Your voice is the primary vector for your self-expression. So, if you feel like you are comfortable and confident expressing your singing voice, that translates into every other area of endeavor. There are far too many forces that conspire to separate us. We spend more time in our individual tunneled spaces than we do in community. So fostering community becomes even more critical for our collective survival and development. And one of the ways that that happens is through group singing, through group musical activity. So to be able to bring people together to say we're going to have this common experience, we're going to sing together. In order for this thing to go, we all have to do it together at the same time. We have to put ourselves out, we have to take the same level of risk, we have to have the same level of engagement and willingness. This is how community gets built. It's such a wonderful thing to be able to do that through music. Music is not the only vector by which this can occur, but it's probably one of the most ideal. And so I'm very, very pleased and uh, honored to be able to have the opportunity anytime I can to help develop community through music. So beautiful, well done.
Well done.